A grade four students, welcome to this revision uh, session. So roughly we'll go through the previous lesson we saw yesterday. So as we saw in our, the first lesson was reading and the title was The Lost City. We said that Lost City, Tom found this lost city in the desert. So the adventure began when Tom sat next to a giant ear that said that is a verb, an irregular verb used in the past, of course. Sit in the past, it is sat. Next to a giant ear, giant it means enormous or very big. Okay, I'm too hot, I'm tired to go any further, he said. We left the oasis hour, hours ago. We explained the oasis, we said that it's like a lake inside the desert, in the middle of the desert where you can lake, find a lake, surrounded by palm trees grass, etc. It's like a green place in a yellow desert. Okay, it's time for a rest. So Tom is so tired and exhausted and he wants to get a nap. He put his bag on the hot rock, signed him and then exclaimed, look at this, it's an enormous ear. He stood up and brushed a little sand off the rock. Post to brush, little sand it means to, to remove some of it here's an eye and down here there is a nose it's a huge face uncle jim was amazed it's the head of a statue he said but why is it here in the middle of the desert of course that's a logical question what a statue is doing in the middle of the desert that's weird Pete was looking at the ground. These big flat stones look like the floor. So as you can see in the picture, there are big flat stones and they look like floor. But why is it here? Okay, he said he stepped on to the first stone and he slid away under his foot and he nearly fell over. As you can see here the picture is going to fall down. Angle Jim grabbed his arm. They stayed into a narrow, dark hole in the ground. What's down there? asked Pete. Uncle Jim knelt down. That's a phrasal verb. And to kneel. Kneel in the past or to bow. Okay, as you can see him in the picture, he's kneeling down. It's an regular verb and it will become melt in the past. Shone his torch into the hole. Oh, isn't there anything down there? Asked Tom. He sounded disappointed. There is a big room down there, said Uncle Jim. You can see tall pots and furniture. And I showed you yesterday pictures of pots and like kind of historical and old furniture we can find in these old tombs and graveyards and, you know, uh, lost cities down there. It might be very valuable. Okay, I must phone the museum. Of course, when someone will find a uh, lost treasure like this, you must phone the museum. Okay, guys, the, thank you very much. Just wanted to remind you of what we you started yesterday. Uh, I hope those who didn't attend the lesson will benefit from this. And that was the part one of the story. Tomorrow we'll finish part two. Then we'll go to the reading comprehension vocabulary. Thank you very much for your attention. And see you tomorrow, inshallah.